Hello everyone, welcome back to V2E Shikshana program. Myself, Professor Nitin Kumar. In this particular video, I will be demonstrating on services. So this lecture deals with the services. So what is the services? So as I mentioned in my previous videos, there are three basic building blocks which makes Android application development. The first one is activity, second one is intents, the third one is services. This is the very important part of Android application development where the lot of services which are required for any application development is already there in the Android Studio from framework. They are like, uh, so how we use printf and scanf. So there is no need of uh, uh, writing a code to print something in our C programming or read something in our C program. Why? Because we are using a package header file that is studio.h where the logic will already there. Just the thing is we have to use that header file when you want printf and scanf statements in your C programming. Similarly, whenever you want to any, we want set of services. That service, for example, I need, I am developing an application where I need alarm clock. So alarm service is already there. Just the thing is you must know how to use it. If you are developing a uh, calendar, Google calendar, Calendar service is already there. So if you want notification in your application, notification service is there. Music player, that's also a service. So based on your application context, the services is already there. So in, pre in one previous example, I have developed a text-to-speech application. So that's a VTU lab program number eight. So Jeff, you just if you look into that uh, particular application, I'm not writing the code for any service there. I'm not writing the complete code to convert the text to speech. Just I'm making use of a service which is already there to demonstrate the text to speech application. In the similar manner, here with respect to the service to demonstrate how the service works. So I'm taking an example of simple application that is clipboard application. So this is the application which I'm going to develop. So which is having a clipboard service, it is a system service which is already there in the Android Studio framework. I'm going to call that service and I'm going to uh, develop this clipboard application. Before calling that service, I'm going to call CBM, clipboard manager. So this is the one which invokes the system service. So where I'm going to clip the data that is there. For example, what is this clipboard service? Uh, I guess uh, you have experienced it. So if you want to copy some message, for example, uh, I have received one message and I have, I have to, uh, or for example, in your browser, if you want to copy that URL, you will copy that URL and you will paste it in the WhatsApp and you are going to send it to your friend. So which service you are using there? What's the service name? That's what we call clipboard service. If you want to copy a text and if you want to paste it in some other application or some other way, somewhere else in your mobile. So you are making use of clipboard service. That's what I'm going to demonstrate in this particular application. It is a service which is already there in the form of clipboard manager. I'm going to call that clipboard manager in my application to demonstrate this clipboard service. So this is my design, very simple design and even the application is very simple. Just this application has been demonstrated to make you guys understand what is uh, service. So I will use clip title of this application, clipboard application. So I'm going to use two text, two edit text here and two buttons. So in first edit text, I will ask the user to enter the URL. So you can enter whatever you want URL, v2.ac.in or vvc.ac.in and paste URL. So I'm going to provide two buttons, copy and paste. Just observe how this application works. This is a, just a title. I'm going to enter the URL that should be copied from the browser and that should be pasted in somewhere else. So to, 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 to demonstrate that particular aspect, so here, here I will ask the user to enter the URL and the user is going to click on copy. So it will be copied, whatever the user is going to enter in the first edit text in the form of URL will be copied and once he clicks on paste, it will be pasted in the second edit text. That's the outcome, that's the particular outcome of this particular application that I am going to develop in this 
session in this lecture just the thing is to demonstrate how the copying of URL will work in your browsers or in other applications which are there in your mobiles. Coming to the design requirements, so I will go with the constraint layout itself. I am not going to change the layout. Why? Because the design is very simple. Constraint layout. So first I need one text view for the uh, name purpose. Next I need two plain text or edit text to get the data and to copy paste. Next I need two buttons. So this is my design requirement. So the main service that I'm going to use in this particular application is clipboard manager. Not only this service, we have hundreds of this kind of services which may be used in the Android application development in the Android studio. Let's start the development. Hello everyone. In this example demonstration, I will be demonstrating a simple service. So the service name is clipboard. So it's a very simple service. So just it's a simple demonstration how the service can be used in our Android application. The context of this particular service is very simple. Just we are going to make use of two buttons. So once the user clicks on that button, copy what is there in particular text should be copied and once he clicks on another button paste the copied text should be pasted to the next text view or text view or edit text it's a very simple application that we are going to develop so what is service so let's start the android studio so what is service service is a piece of code or a piece of uh, logic so which is already there in this Android studio we are going to invoke it in our application to perform that particular task it's like how we use user defined functions in our programming languages so in application developments we are going to make use of the services which are already there in the uh, framework for that particular task so let's start creating a new project so by selecting the empty activity so the application name is just here i am demonstrating the services by using clipboard so i will give clipboards activity or clipboard application and finish so once the project is ready for the development firstly we will start with the development of design part followed by uh, the logic part where we are going to invoke the service to invoke the service we are going to use clipboard manager which is going to make the task on which is going to accomplish the context that we are planning to do in this particular application so clipboard manager is a component that comes under clipboard service that we are using in this particular application so my application is ready for the development so firstly we will do with the design so design so we will go with the design firstly we will complete the design next we will move further with the logic to implement the service so however we have a text view here we will use the same and we are not going to change the layout we are going to make use of same constraint layout and I'm going to rename this text view so I'm going to rename it as clipboard this is why we are going to develop it. clipboard and I'm going to increase the font size Done. so next I'm going to add two text views edit text or plain text here so in one plain text I am going to enter the information in another plain text I am not going to inform that or any information instead of that whatever I have inferred entered in the first text view will be copied so I am done with the placing the first plain text next I am going to copy the I am going to place the second one
so we are done with the placing it to plain text and we need two buttons here just to invoke the service I will use first button copy so as we are using constraint layout we need to set the constraints on all four sides So and I'm going to rename these two buttons. The first button text will be changed to copy. So next button text will be changed and it will be made paste. Next I'm going to add the int. I'm going to remove this text which is there in the plain edit text by visiting to the code part of the design. the text value will be removed in place of the text I am going to add the hint enter the text enter the text here similarly I am going to do so the same for the edit text too I am going to remove that attribute and I am going to add int so copy the content so instead of that, I am paste copied content. So just if you observe, so this is my context. The name, application name, or the service that I am going to use here is clipboard service. I am going to enter the text in the first text view, plain text. And once after that, I am going to click on copy. This will trigger the clipboard service. So once after that, I will click on paste whatever I have entered in the edit text one should be copied to copied content edit text so before starting with the Java or the backend development firstly we will rename the IDs of edit text first edit text will be renamed as edit text one and the second one will be renamed as edit text two first will be edit text one and the second one will be edit text this is for just for the identification purpose I am making use of sequential number I am numbering sequentially just observe that the two components should not have the same IDs you can observe the error that is appearing here just I am going to rename this text to done so let's start the development just observe once again I am going to show the design this is what we have planned this is what we are going to develop this is a very simple service so that we are going to demonstrate in this particular application I'm going to enter the text here and I'm going to click on copy once I click on paste whatever I have entered here in the first plain text should be copied to the second one so just I'm going to develop the Java part so I'm going to do the functionality which is required to the task that we are planning to accomplish firstly I will call the manager that is service manager which is required to accomplish this quick code clipboard activity firstly I will call clipboard manager clipboard manager and I'm going to give the reference as CBM from here onwards if I refer CBM means it's nothing but clipboard manager CBM means it's a clipboard manager next I'm going to declare the uh, two things additional things one is clip data means what is there in the uh, edit text that we are planning to copy clip data and the reference that I'm going to use is CD from here onwards CD means clip data next I'm going to use edit text and I'm going to declare it as e1 and e2 edit text 1 will be referred as e1 edit text 2 will be referred as e2 so now before we start with the, the calling the service 
Firstly, we will identify these two components which are there in my design. Edit text 1 and edit text 2. E1 is equal to find view by id means we are finding the element component which is there in my design based on the id dot edit text 1. That's why I have told you guys to note down the id or if there is multiple number of ids components are there in your design it's better to number them sequentially. E2 is equal to find the particular edit text based on that id which is there in the design that is edit text to done so we are done with identification of e1 and e2 e1 means edit text 1 e2 means edit text 2 next we will call the service that is clipboard service which is already there in this android studio just we are invoking that clipboard service it's a very simple service clipboard cbm is the reference clipboard manager is equal to clipboard manager get that system service which is already there which is nothing but clipboard service just i am invoking that system service which is already there that service name is clipboard service so i am referring it as cbm why because i have declared a global variable in prio now based on this service i am going to write two user defined method one as public void copy which i am going to place it inside the button by name copy so as it is a user defined method so i am going i should provide the view second one as public void paste for that also you have to provide the view. So here with respect to copy firstly so what's there in the edit text one should be copied that's why I'm going to store it as a string string text is equal to edit text one means e1 dot get the text which is there in the edit text and convert it to string and store it with the reference variable text so once after that i will call clip data which is part of which is part of clipboard manager clip data clip data it's nothing but android content package clip data that is new plain text which is there in text that we have stored in the previous line that we have stored in the previous line that we are passing as a data that we are referring it as a clipper data that is nothing but a new plain text which we have stored in the previous line so next i will call clipboard manager dot set the primary clip as what we have stored as a clipper data in the previous line that is cd that so thus completes the method for copying just whatever there in the edit text we get it we obtained the text and we have converted it to the string and we have stored with the reference variable by name text and we have called the clipboard data which is component which comes under clipboard manager so whatever the text that we have stored in the previous step that has been placed in the clip data then we are calling the clipboard manager service and in the primary clip we are storing the we are assigning the clipboard data which we have stored in the previous line this completes the copy method so next how to paste it once again we will call clip data with different variable name that is cd2 is equal to cbm dot get primary clip just I am obtaining what we have stored as a primary clip in the copy. What is the data that we have stored as in the form of a clip data? We are storing, we are referring it, we are accessing it through CD2. Next, clip data, clip data and we are referring it with item in the form of item. What is there in the clip data item? So that should start in CD2 from the 
item at index 0. Why? Because we are storing only one piece of information that will start from index 0 that we are referring it as item. So this item should be assigned using string copied item dot get text and convert it to string. Next, so edit text 2, edit text 2 is set text for this particular text string that we have copied in the previous step that is copied. That's it. So this is a very simple example. Just observe, firstly, the service that we are using here is Clipboard Manager. Yeah, so it is having a component by clip data and in our design we are using two edit tags by name E1 and E2. Firstly, we are identifying that E1 and E2 based on the IDs. Then I am calling the clipboard manager service. It's a system service. So next I am writing a two user defined methods by name copy and paste. So in copy, firstly I am reading the edit text one and convert it to, to string. So that will be referred with the variable name text. So I'm calling clip data with that label that we have passed in the, what we have stored in the previous step as the form of string. Then we are calling clipboard manager for which the, the clipboard data will be passed. This is with respect to copying the information. So whenever user clicks on copy button, this method should be triggered. So coming to the paste, we should use different clip data. That's why I'm declaring new clipboard data that is CD2. So where the item in this clipboard data will be referred from index zero. So firstly, we are storing it with a different string name by name copied. That string is passed to the edit text two. And that information will be set as a text in the edit text two. So now after defining two different user defined method, these two methods should be placed inside that particular buttons by going to that code using a on click attribute. But because whenever user clicks on this button, just observe the button is, what's the name of button? That is copy. Whenever the user clicks on this button, that method that we have written for the copy should clicker. So that's why I'm placing on click and I'm placing a method by name, user defined method by name copy. Next, whenever the user clicks on this button, so this button task is to paste. So I will place a new attribute by name on click, on click. Whenever user clicks on this, the paste should happen. So, this completes this particular application development and the Gradle dependency should be resolved. And the synchronization should be done, otherwise it will throw error. Once the synchronization is done, so I'm going to execute this before execution. So as we are, as I'm using 8 GB RAM system, so I may be running out of memory. That's why I will wipe the data associated with the emulator so that the execution will happily happen without any hurdles. I will execute this. So just I will demonstrate how this clipboard service is going. It's a very simple service. So don't feel that oh, this is the only service that is available in the Android Studio framework. This kind of thousands of services are available for the developer. This is a very simple service just to make you guys understand how the services can be used without uh, doing any hard coding. Just have them. I'm demonstrating this clipboard manager like this. You might use tech to text to speech service, alarm service, notification service, music player. Why? Because these are the common mobile application services that will up, that is required in most of the mobile apps. That's why the, the, the in the Android Studio framework itself, we have the support for this kind of services. Just the thing is no need of uh, learning the coding or no need of doing the hard coding of this service. Just the thing is you must know how to invoke these services in your program. That's the objective of this particular demonstration. So here I'm demonstrating a very simple application that is clipboard manager, clipboard application where I'm using the service clipboard service, which is nothing but a system services. So whenever I enter a text in one text view or edit text and if I click on a button copy it should be copied and if I click on paste it should be pasted to the next text view edit text which is available in my output screen. It's a just a small demonstration on 
the services which are readily available in the android studio framework my application execution is done it is almost ready the application is getting installed so i will show the output so you might note down this output it's a very simple application uh, on services in android studio framework so my application output is also ready just observe it is same as what we have developed in the design so this is a enter text here this is a first edit text whatever i am going to enter here once after clicking copy should be copied and paste once i click on this page that should be pasted to the edit text too just i am going to enter the first nitin kumar csc vbc so i have entered a text nitin kumar from department of csc vbc i am clicking on copy so that the text should be copied now so if i click on paste this should be this should appear in this edit text too just observe i am clicking it on paste is it this is a simple demonstration on the services how to use the services in android studio framework this kind of services hundreds or thousands of services are available in android studio framework just the thing is you must know how to invoke this kind of services in your mobile apps thank you